5 o'clock, a baby girl dies after being put to sleep on Christmas night. It is exactly the scenario that Milwaukee officials have been trying to prevent. That baby was left with older children, and those kids were apparently unaware of a big danger lurking in the bedroom. Fox 6 reporter Chip Brewster is here with more on the events that took the little baby's life. Her name was Egypt Holloway, born not even two weeks ago at a healthy six pounds, two ounces. Now her family is mourning her death. Sad, sad, sad stuff. David Weir lives next door to a family supporting several children near the intersection of 43rd and Martin on Milwaukee's near west side. I know they had kids and stuff like that. They talked to the other kids, you know, our kids hang out with their kids a little bit. The youngest, a baby girl that would have been 11 days old Tuesday. However, when she was laid to rest Christmas night, she didn't wake up. According to the medical examiner's report, the infant had been co-sleeping with three other children. This is unbelievable. The report says the baby's parents were not home and she was instead in the care of her grandmother. According to the report, the grandmother went out Christmas night around 10 with her boyfriend. According to police in the report, the couple left the baby girl in care of her 13-year-old aunt. The report states around 2 in the morning, the aunt fed the baby a bottle wrapped her in a fleece blanket and put her to sleep on her back on a queen size bed with her head just below two adult pillows. The report says three other children were sleeping in the same bed. It's the kind of situation city leaders have been trying to stop with recent campaigns. I can't believe it happens as much as it happens. Um, you know, it's always on TV, I think. People should know better. According to the report, the grandmother and her boyfriend came home around four in the morning and went to move all the kids out of the bed. It was at this time, the report says, they found the baby not breathing and called 911. As a parent himself, Weir can't imagine what the family is going through. Just grief crumbled and I'd be shocked. I'd, I'd be beside myself. I have no idea. And that same report also states a large family gathering had taken place on Christmas and that there were several other people asleep in the home, including four other children and a 49-year-old woman. Back to you guys at the desk. Chip, thank you.